She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, the holidays are just around the corner, and we know that the Christmas stuff went up in the mall just, you know, right before Thanksgiving. And the weather's getting cold, and you've all asked me for more casseroles. So today, I thought I'd share with you one of my inventive casseroles that uses a vegetable that maybe you've not heard of, and that's the artichoke. I went to the store today and picked one of these up, and to be honest with you, the cashier didn't know what it was either. He was like, what is that? And I'm like, this is an artichoke, and it looks like the top of a bed post. But I'm going to show you how to turn it into a nice, cheesy bacon casserole that you can put in the fridge overnight and then cook in the morning for brunch. Or it makes an excellent dinner too. I'm going to show you how to use artichokes up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my cheesy artichoke and bacon casserole. Eight slices of bacon. Two tomatoes. Four cups or the 28 ounce package of Jiffy O'Brien potatoes with peppers and onion mix. Two cups shredded cheese. One can quartered artichoke hearts. Four eggs. Three fourth cup milk. Some garlic powder. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back roll is great for the next morning. You can put it in the fridge the night before or you can save it for dinner and it makes a great dinner too. But I usually use this when relatives stay over and you know you need to fix something in the morning for them and uh, this is just a great maybe a little bit high class um, casserole that you can put together. But I know I scared you all. We had the fresh artichoke here and um, you know, people eat the leaves with um, different types of sauces and, you know, you can just eat it as is um, cooked or you can make something out of it and that's what we're doing today. But, you know, this fresh thing, that's kind of scary for you all. So, go ahead and get the canned um, quartered artichoke hearts. Now, they're not too expensive, especially if you catch a sale or if you get them at the, you know, discount store or even the dollar store sometimes has them. So um, keep your eye out for those, and it's the quartered artichoke hearts that we'll be using today. Here's how we're going to put it together. You know, I was going to stop the tape, but apparently I have stabbed myself with the artichoke, and that is actually, that's not lipstick or anything. That is my blood. Apparently it's poked me three times and I don't know, we don't have, you know, insurance here in the trailer park so I'm going to have to go put some kind of splash or something on this and fix myself up. I'll be right back in a minute. Wow, I don't think I've ever done that with a vegetable before. I've done it with a knife, but not a vegetable. That's scary, y'all. Maybe that's why this is I hear in the sunflower family and it's really a thistle. And that's a hard word too. I worked on that word. And um, 
I, you know those thistles you get in the woods, those hurt you too, so I guess that's why. I just didn't really think about that. I'll be right back. Apparently in my research for this show and getting the fresh one, I didn't notice that it had thorns and I hurt myself on it. So if you do get the real kind, um, be careful with that. That's kind of scary. Um, I hope they're not poisonous. That's kind of scary if they had some sort of poisonous gel all over it that injected you with that. That would be, I don't know what to say, but that is just not a good thing. I don't like that veg I don't like vegetables that can hurt you. So that's why we are going to use it in the can. So what we need to do is we need an eight inch pan and I need to get that, hold on a second. We go and we need to spray this down with some butter spray. Cook your bacon slices and yes you can use more bacon and chop it up into little half size inch pieces. And a lot there goes my earring. Oh and it broke too. This is just not going well today. In a large bowl, go ahead and take the potato O'Brien mixture, and this isn't the shredded potatoes, but more of the chunk type um, potatoes, and it has the peppers and onions and, you know, red and green peppers and onion mix, and just dump that in a bowl. Now add one cup of the cheese. Now add the bacon. and give that a stir around. Now in the eight inch square baking pan, you're gonna put half of the potato mixture into it. And spread that out. Now comes the artichokes. Just drain those and dump them on. And make sure there is no cat hair in your casserole too, because your guests won't like that at all. That is not food safe at all. I guess that was flying around. Now dump your rest of your potato and onion mixture right up on time. And smooth that on out. Set this aside. In the bowl that you just used, you can reuse that and just add the 3 4 cup milk and the four eggs. And the garlic powder. You can use about a fourth teaspoon. You can really season this to your liking, but I like a little garlic powder, fourth teaspoon, one fourth, and I like some pepper. You can add as much pepper as you like. I like a lot of pepper. And you can add, well, I like some, just some mixture of uh, spices all together in there. And we'll just put that on in there. And all you do is whip this around and get this all frothy. You could maybe add some Mexican spices to this and make it really spicy. Or you could just make it nice and, you know, clean and bland. Because, you know, some of the relatives don't like the spicy things. And this is just a nice, delicate, cheesy casserole with artichokes that has a nice... Well, artichokes have a nutty flavor, to be honest with you. And it just all goes together. Now all you do is dump this mixture up on top of the potato mixture and it's going to seep down there to the bottom and that's why it's important to have this refrigerated overnight so it can soak up all the uh, flavors of the, you know, garlic powder or whatever spices that you put in here and the 
bacon lends its flavor to the, the whole mixture as well. And, you know, you can serve this at brunch. You can pop it in the oven in the morning. Or you can wait um, after you get home for maybe work and um, pop it in for maybe um, dinner for your family. Because it is a nice hearty casserole and it's got vegetables and meat and eggs. And I'm sure it's good for you somehow. I mean, there's calories in it. I saw in um, one of the big magazines that the TV chefs were worried about um, people getting fat off their food. And I'm like, in moderation, You, I hope you enjoy it. I really do because... I'm, I'll eat a cookie anytime I can, and I'll admit that anytime. And um, what I'm going to do is pop this in the refrigerator, and we're going to come back tomorrow, well, through the magic of video, and we're going to uh, pop this in the oven and start it baking. I have my casserole here, and it's been about 24 hours in the fridge. And um, it has to rest a while so it can soak up the flavors and get ready for the oven, which we have preheated to 350 degrees. And I always like a little bit more cheese, so we're going to add about a cup more cheese up on time. Just like that. There we go. And we're going to pop this in the oven for about 45 minutes. It's going to bake down and be bubbly and kind of crisp up on time. Set your timer. But wait, 10 to 15 minutes prior to the end time in the oven, you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna slice up your tomatoes and you're gonna arrange some slices up on top. It'll make it look real pretty and taste real good too. Then pop it back in the oven and let it cook the rest of the way. Wow, listen to that sizzle. It's nice and cheesy and brown up on top and the tomatoes have baked down and this casserole really smells good and I know it's going to taste good too. Welcome back. I have some of my cheesy bacon artichoke casserole and this is, wow, it smells really good. This is so great when you have uh, people that stop by unannounced. You can always have one in your fridge or you can even freeze it and do it that way too, but who'd have thought that a thistle, and something that can hurt you by the way, so be careful with that, can turn into such a great casserole. And it works for brunch, it works for uh, dinner, or maybe even a potluck too. And um, it's just great to wow your friends with because when's the last time you've ate an artichoke? I mean, deep frying them is always the best option but if you can throw it in a casserole it's really good too and I hope you get a chance to try this and I can't wait to try a bit of this too mmm it's cheesy and the bacon flavor is so good and the tomatoes up on top and the pepper and onion mix wow really has a vibrant taste that will be like I said good for breakfast or dinner too and it's super easy and catch the artichokes on sale. Um, it'll be so uh, cheap to make too because, I mean, it was stuff in our freezer and cabinet and it's easy to put together. Tune in next time where I show you some more cheap and easy budget tips and tricks that you can do the trailer park way. If you make my recipes, be sure to send me an email at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com and send me pictures too. You might be in an upcoming show. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And you can find out what's going on in the trailer park every day. And visit me on the web at JoleneSugarBaker.com. I love you, and I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Hi there. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen. Some of the products you may have seen in my show today may have been gotten for free. So visit my website at CookingWithJolene.com for my FTC statement. That's if you're nosy. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the stuff. double wide. Visit my store at jolinesugarbaker.com.